So they say. First battalion. Cursed Ben! Too much. I gotta do is just pull it a little bit. All right, sir. Could you go ahead and start off by saying and spelling your name, your rank, uh, your hometown, and uh, what you do? My name is uh, Ken Bernier, major. Last name B E R N I E R. I'm from uh, Garland, Maine. I am the uh, assistant product manager for crew serve weapons, uh, soldier weapons, uh, part of PEO soldier. Can you tell me what you came out here to do today, sir? Uh, today, uh, we uh, 
conducted the first unit equipped of the M2A1 machine gun. The first improvement to the M2 machine gun since uh, the heavy barrel, which was previous to the Korean War. Can, uh, tell me, Wake, what's the, what's the major evolution in this weapon system compared to the previous model? The major evolution of this weapon system compared to the previous model is three improvements. The first is fixed head space and timing, which is improves uh, safety uh, of the soldier. The second is quick change barrel which increases his lethality, so he can quickly change the barrel less than 15 seconds and continue to fight. And the last is uh, the reduced uh, flash suppression, about a 95% reduction, so therefore help his survivability by decreasing the chance of his location being discovered when he's in operation. You look uncomfortable, sir. Uh, I'm trying not to be. Just, you, know, you, you can stand like that, it's fine. Okay. Stand, stand like this, you know, just be comfortable. Because if, you if you're uncomfortable, it's gonna come across like Yeah, you. it's the truth. Um, so tell me, how is this going to, you know, change the nature of ground combat for the average American, you know, infantryman or combat armed soldier? One, it's going to make it simpler. It's kind of restate, you know, I think. This okay. Is gonna All right. I think it's going to make the average soldier's life that much better. One, it's gonna, he's going to be safer because he's not going to have to uh, conduct headspace and time on the weapon. Therefore, that's one less thing when he's tired and hungry he will not have to do to make sure that his weapon operates you know, effectively the first time. And the second, he's going to be able to quickly, when he's firing his weapon in a continuous manner, change the barrel and continue to fight uh, with very little interruption. You know, would you say that this uh, increases the lethality uh, by way of, like, I guess, staying power? That's still not the right word for it. Uh, I, it incre what this is, weapon's going to do is it's going to increase his lethality by allowing him to continuously fight. Very little downtime. As he fires continuously and the barrel starts to heat up, he can quickly change the barrel out, go to his alternate barrel, continue to fight while that barrel cools down, and then continue to swap him out as he needs to, so he can continuously fight as long as he has the ammunition to do so. So what do you think this program says for how the Army leadership responds to the needs of the soldiers on the field? I think this program responds from the leaders that the soldier needs, you know, in the complicated warfare that we're fighting today, he needs things simpler when we can find those. And the M2A1 is a great example of that. We made that the weapon, same reliability, same lethality, and we made it simpler and better for him. And that's what the leadership's doing today. Make it easier for him to fight harder. That's my quote. Do you have anything you'd like to add? Oh, no. Okay. That was good. Thank you. Names Specialist Donald Amendola, L A M E N D O L A. Uh, give me your unit and duty title. Unit is Apache Troop 113 Cav. I'm a gunner on the platoon leader's truck. As soon as he's fucking gone. Sorry. So, uh, you know, what, what, what did you learn about today? I uh, learned on the New M2A1, uh, about the new 50 cal. It was a quick operators and uh, instructors course. So what do you think about this new weapon system? With the new weapon system, I like the fact that they made the barrel changes a lot quicker. Um, do you think this is going to help uh, the general, the, you know, the Army, big Army as a whole, do you think it's going to help them uh, as far as with maintenance and safety issues and stuff like that? I think the upgrades to the weapon make it uh, definitely easier for less experienced gunners to uh, properly maintain the weapon. What do, you, what do you think like as far as uh, you know like training time and familiarization time as far as someone who's never never experienced a weapon before and they're being trained on it I mean how much do you think this is gonna increase training maybe maybe even uh, do you think it's gonna tie into that question do you think it's maybe even gonna lower the uh, the apprehension that a soldier may may feel when they're first mm -hmm. learning about the system? Um, I definitely think with the preset headspace and timing, it's going to make it easier for the inex inexperienced soldiers to learn the weapon and more open to being comfortable firing it. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Not really. <laughs>